what propelled you to start Safer Way and then Whole Foods? I mean, you were at the University of Texas, and did you drop out to do this? I dropped out of school like six times. I've got 120 hours of electives. I just studied whatever I was interested in. But I did not drop out to start this company. I was living in a vegetarian co-op when I was 23 years old. And that's when I, I had my food awakening, where I, I really understood for the first time that what you ate affected how you felt and your health and your longevity. And then I became the food buyer at that co-op. And then I went to work for a small natural food store in Austin. And I had found the purpose of my life. I was on fire for healthy eating, organic and natural foods. Came home one day and asked my girlfriend living in the co-op whether we ought to start up our own little store. And she said she thought that would be a lot of fun, cool, and uh, Six months later, we'd raised $45,000 from friends and family, and we found a location, a small store location in Austin, and we were in business. So when you started the company, though, did you have the vision of building a global or national company, or did you just say, I'll do a couple stores? What was your original vision? My original vision was to break even. <laughs> we were losing money when we started out. The first year, we raised $45,000 of capital. We managed to lose 23000 of it. So we were lucky to survive. We did much better in the second year, relocated to Whole Foods. No, we had no grand vision. The best way to understand it is we were just passionate about selling natural and organic foods. There was no, we weren't, we weren't, we didn't take any business classes. We, we didn't have, we weren't MBAs. We just were passionate. We were on fire. We were young. I was 24 years old when we started the first store. Renee was 20. So we were just having an adventure. We were, we were playing and having a grocery store. It was so much fun. And, the, and then we started learning business and we got pretty good at it. And then we started to grow it. I, I will tell you a story, David. So when we did our IPO in 1992, you know, one of the things that the investors want to know, they're trying to build a model of your company. So they want to know what's the potential, how big could it be? We had 12 stores when we IPO'd. And I thought, I think we could someday have 100 stores. And, uh, you know, we might even someday, we might even be able to do maybe, maybe a billion dollars in sales someday. Someday we could have that. And they weren't, they weren't that impressed with that. They didn't think that was going to be that big a company. And of course, you know, we're doing 20 billion in sales now and have 520 stores or thereabouts. So I was very wrong about the upward potential of the business. 